What's up, Cage family? Back at it again. Uh, hopefully y'all can see me. If not, I can't see myself in the glare. But, um, let me tell you, tell you about this coaching staff. Um, y'all might, uh, y'all might as well forget about Get rid of any coordinator, any position coach, anything like that. There's not gonna be no none of that. I gotta dry mouth. From what I can pick up by my own spider senses, my own cane senses, is that they are going to keep all the coordinators, all the position coaches. Now, if it's some change. It shot me. But as far as I can see it, as far as so far looking like it, just all they gonna do is try to change the schemes up for the offense. Uh, Manny might get a little bit more involved in the defense. Me personally, I don't see no problem with him. Let them keep all the damn coaches and coordinators they want to keep. Oh, let them keep the whole style they had the first year. Because the second season, if they do the same shit, or they only want one more game extra, more likely them boosters going to kick their ass about that damn program. So y'all come in together, y'all leave together if y'all keep on with this bullshit. I mean, excuse me, dang, I mean, mean to curse. Y'all keep over on with this BS. Then after that, obviously, y'all going to be gone next season. So, y'all come in together. If y'all do bad, do the same next season and start looking bad at the beginning of the season, or y'all keep on doing the same pattern all together, y'all all leave the same time y'all came in. <laughs> How I see what they got going on, either Edo, if Edo does leave, he's going to take a head coach job at Arkansas. If he doesn't leave, then after that, he stayed his coordinator. But me personally, hey, if you're going to let Manny stay, let all of them stay. He brought them guys in. They're gonna either they gonna progress together or they gonna lose together and get out the door together. It's one or the other. That's just how it's gonna go, guys. Guys and women. That's how it's gonna go, ladies and gents. Either you can deal with it next season and see the progress that they either gonna make or they or you gonna keep seeing the same regression as this season. It's one or the other. Me personally. I want to see progression because I'm tired of seeing my team lose. I don't even care. I really, at this part, don't care who the head coach is. As long as we get somebody there that cares about their program and care about winning again. I saw, was it TJ Sports last night? I was watching that, and he was telling the truth. We're only going to have, our expectations are high because it's supposed to be high. But real expectations with the athletic program, athletic director, well, he missed out on saying, TJ Sports, I feel like he missed out on saying, not saying that he didn't miss, he did a great job. But what I feel like is the main thing that I feel like is the reason why the expectation realistically should be set is because the athletic director, one, to the coaching staff, is making our expectations that low of an eight or nine win season. I know Mark Rick was the last one to do a 10 and 3 season. I get that. But our expectations are going to remain high. Mine is going to remain high. Y'all can keep y'all the whatever you want to keep it. All I see is national championship a bust. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can look at. Well, I, I, I'll drop it down to AC championship. It got to be a championship somewhere. I'm not going to accept the, the uh, Coastal Division because we should be sweeping it every year. Just, that's, that's just my point of view. They, they made it simple enough for us to win Coastal every year. Look at who's in the Coastal. I mean, come on. We should be AC Championship every year. If not winning the AC Championship, at least competing where it's like a three or a tuck going out to a field goal and we lose that way. Not losing by a blowout. You know, the Clemson or something like that. 
You know what I'm saying? But at the minimum, my, my lowest expectation, if I had to lower my expectation from Natty, or at least the playoffs, well, yo, my, my, sick, my first expectation is Natty. Second expectation is the playoffs. Third expectation is to win the AC Championship. Fourth expectation is to lose the AC Championship in a decent fashion. You know what I mean by that? It's like losing by three points, maybe a touchdown. Not three touchdowns, four touchdowns. A field goal or a touchdown. And right now, the team we got, my expectation and what it was, what it was preserved as for Manny, and he knows that we got the talent to do it, is to win the AC championship, be the playoffs. So this next season, my expectation for them with Manny so far is to win seven games. That's just my expectation. Just being real with y'all. Just being honest with y'all. Just being real with y'all. Because man, uh, the way if his coaching staff, his schemes are going to be the same next season, or if the coach calls and stuff, and then rotations and the player depth chart gonna look the same as this year. I don't see them doing no more than maybe maybe a, maybe a, a, a one game win in this season. I mean, just being honest. Now if they change the offense and. The defense get more aggressive than in dropping back and all this other other crap. Just go back to Manny stuff. Then I can see us, you know, if, if they do a whole different change, then we might win by eight games. But if everything stay the same, they might win a game extra. They might or they might go worse. I don't know. With Manny, I don't expect too much of nothing. I don't have no expectation with Manny there right now. I just gonna go. My whole expectation is just to see what he gonna do. That's just my expectation. Oh, we lost to uh, Bethune Cookman or something. Oh, that don't that, that don't shock me. And we lose to Bethune Cookman, and we lose to any SAR team next season. I would not be surprised. That's how that's how much expectation I got with Manny. The program, if we get a better coach that shows in the first year, I'll be like, yeah, we're gonna go to AC Championship. We're gonna we gotta probably win or lose by touchdown. But with Manny, I have no expectations. Done. Expectations zero. I don't look for nothing for Manny. I just look for Manny to do another year, another season, and get out the door. That's all I look for. People say you got to give the program time. I'm not hearing that either. You either know your, you either know he's the guy, first season or not, because a lot of first year coaches. Randy Shannon never lost to FIU. Randy Shannon ain't never lost to Georgia Tech. Now, I recall, uh, if we did, it was barely by barely. About a field goal, maybe. That's when it was still, uh, that was about, that was because of the fact is that they were still running triple option. They had the same screen, but this, this, this don't make no sense losing to Georgia Tech. And they got a whole different offense. They ain't got no tight ends. It's just, the whole the schedule to me, Blew me because of the fact is that a lot of them teams were changing a lot of stuff and I, man, don't show me what he got. He ain't pretty much nothing. But like I said, I ain't got no expectation for Manny Diaz and the route he gone. I just sit back and watch. So whatever happened, happened, man. Be honest with y'all. But anyway, man, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'll probably drop another video in a few minutes. So to conclude my day because this is a beautiful day right now in Georgia. Yes, I stay in America's Georgia. It's another beautiful day until it gets cold as I don't know what later on the night. Cold as balls later on the night. Excuse the French. Uh, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, man. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm trying to go live. They say I got to get a thousand views on my videos so I can go live. Maybe then if I go live, I can join with Slap TV. I can join with, you know, Junior Big Dog. Somebody. But anyway, y'all, man, hit stick bus. You know what I'm saying? We deserve victory. Go Kings.